Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the New King James large print thin line reference Bible. So this one is done by Thomas Nelson. It is part of their premier collection. So it does come in a very nice box. We can see we've got both the satin and the gloss finish on there. Really nice packaging, very sturdy, nice thick box. So I'm going to hold that right there so you can pause and read that section if you would like. And then we'll drop down to the features. So we're going to have a premium goatskin leather cover with raised ribs, which just looks awesome. It's a sewn and edge line binding. We've got art gilding as well as a gilt line. It's perimeter stitched. We've got the New King James Comfort Print, which I absolutely love. We're going to have a premium European Bible paper, which is 36 GSM. It is black letter. We'll have three double face satin ribbons, each 3 eighths of an inch wide. Extensive cross-reference system, generous yap, and a clear and readable 11 point size on the font. So really a nice font size. There's the ISBN number. Retail is $189.99. You can find it for less online and right now on both christianbook.com as well as Amazon. They're about $112 so you can find it for less. And if that's still too much for you, you can also look at the leather soft options as well. All of the Premier Collection Bibles are going to come wrapped in a nice black paper with the Premier Collection seal. If you want to keep that nice, you can always pull out that side of the paper and just simply slide the Bible out and then you can always put it back in. This one here measures out at 9 and 7 eighths inches tall by 6 and 3 quarters inches wide. And when I include the cover, it's an inch and an eighth, but if we look at just the text block only, it's just shy of an inch. So we're going to have brown head and tail band. Let me see, we've got three ribbons there. Really nicely done gold gilding. I think they did a fantastic job on the gilding. It's just, it's like a mirror. Really nice. We've got the brown goatskin cover, which I love the brown. We've got perimeter stitching all the way around the perimeter. A really nice grain pattern and this Bible smells better than probably any Bible I've ever held in my hands. I love the smell of this one. So on the spine we're going to have Holy Bible, New King James Version, and Thomas Nelson. And then we've got those raised ribs which I think looks awesome. So this one is the second edition. The first edition in the black just had the gold lines on there and not the raised ribs. So they did do an upgrade on the second edition. This cover is really nice, very durable. I don't feel at all like I'm going to scratch it with my nails or anything. Has a very nice liner. The liner is a nice deep shade of brown. We've got goat skin leather cover there and then we've got that gold gilt line. Now this one I have not noticed anywhere to the gilt line. Like in some of my other Premier Collections I've had it just in the corners where this page here rubs and rubs off that gilt line. I haven't seen that in this one. So we do have an edge lined binding so this inside liner is going to be tabbed up onto this block as you can see that line there. And then these first two pages are going to be stuck together here just for some added durability so make sure you don't try to peel those apart. We're going to have a very simple presentation page and then we'll get into our title pages. Now I do have some post-it notes on here just to keep this page from getting all crinkled up because we all know what happens to these front pages. They tend to just get munched up. We're going to have our title pages. So this here will tell us it's the second printing of 2019. It was printed in China. We will have our table of contents. And we're going to have a preface to the New King James. And I just, I love the New King James. Then we're going to get it right into the Old Testament. So we're going to have a double column layout with all of the cross references down along the bottom. So we've got the books all in red, also the subheadings and the chapter numbers. They're all going to be in that same nice shade of red. We're going to have an 11 point font, which is also line matched. So really a nice print quality. The only time you see anything is where there is no text here in the white space and that's going to be completely normal but when you're reading the biblical text you don't have any distractions at all which I really like so we've got all of our reference suite down at the bottom we can see one of them right there where it says words in italic type have been added for clarity 
So what's nice about the reference suite is you've also got down here, anytime when you have numbers in the text, so you might have a one or a two, then that's going to be, it's going to have the word meanings down here at the bottom. So that is really nice to basically have all your references and it's like having a built-in glossary in there. So I do really like that. I love the double column layout and this one we can see now it's still a little bit stiff right here from those pages, but it's still laying open for us and it'll just get better and better with use. So here we're going to look at our first of three ribbons. So three eighths inch wide, double satin. We do have three ribbons, so three different colors. We've got the blue, the red, and that brown. So all of those do look really nice with the color of the cover. If I can get them in the right spot there. So I personally like that they're giving us more ribbons and that they're giving us more color options in them as well. The other thing in this section that I did want to point out is going to be, so not only do we have our regular stitching in here, which hopefully the camera will show that. So we've got our regular stitching, but then we've got these short stitches here on the other side there. So that is what's called overcast stitching. So this binding is put together very, very well. So this Bible will definitely last you a lifetime. As long as you take care of it and don't mangle it, then this should last you forever. So one nice thing too that we can see there is that art gilding. I think that looks really nice. Got that nice gold gilding and then that art gilding. And this 36 GSM paper is just a really, really nice paper. I absolutely love this Bible. And when I read from this one, I just, I can't put it down. There's something about this one that I just love. But really just very nicely done. You can see the poetic sections and how those are going to look. But I love the shade of red that they used in here. I think they did a fantastic job on that. So this one is going to be just the black letter. So we're not going to have any words of Christ in red in this one. But we'll get back to the New Testament. Again, we've got that nice color on that ribbon. Plus the ribbons are long enough to use. So that I really like. I think they did an awesome job on this Bible. So I'll just show you a close up so you can see that nice shade of red against that black. I personally really like that. Just makes it stand out to you when you see all of those. So we're going to get back to the end of the Bible. So we'll get to the end of Revelation and then we'll get into our concordance. So the concordance is going to be 38 pages. So we can see that the words are done in bold. So a little bit smaller print, but still super readable. I don't have any issues reading that. And plus for a one inch thick Bible to have a concordance in maps is really nice. There's gonna be a note regarding the type, which is going to be done by 2K Denmark. And I personally love the comfort print. Initially, I really didn't like it. And then now that I've used a bunch of Bibles with it, I absolutely love it. So if you're still unsure and on the fence about the comfort print, just force yourself to use a Bible that's got it for a few days and then see how you like going back to a regular one because doing that made me a firm believer in this comfort print. So again, we can see here how nice that art gilding looks against that gilt line. I just think that looks awesome. It's just a joy to read from this Bible. So we're gonna have our maps. We can see from the glare there that it is on a shiny paper, but we're going to have seven maps spread out onto eight pages. We've got some more stitching there. So really nicely done binding. I think Thomas Nelson is just knocking it out of the park with all of their Bibles right now. So there's a nice two page spread, get you a close up. So really easy to read. I like the colors, just an all around absolutely gorgeous Bible. Then we get back to the back of the Bible. On that back cover, it's just going to have the ISBN number and the model number. But this brown goat skin, I think is absolutely stunning. I love the brown. Plus, you probably didn't smell that, but I can smell it and it is awesome. So again, this one here has been 
the large print thin line reference Bible. This one again is the Premier Collection, so by Thomas Nelson. You can also get uh, some imitation leather cover options as well. So there's an ISBN number on this one. You can definitely find it for a lot less. I will put some links in the description box. And I'll see if I can find some links maybe for some of the cheaper options as far as the leather soft because even their leather soft covers right now are just super impressive. I'm just I can't get enough of any of the Bibles that Nelson is putting out. It's just they're spoiling us with all this quality and with all the features that they're giving us and plus just their amazing customer service. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.